one of the most popular functions in Excel is the if function, uh, which is designed to apply a logical test to some data. Um, in other words, check to see if that data meets specific criteria. Um, and it will return a value if that test turns out to be true, or another value if that test turns out to be false. Um, now, like most functions, the if function is best understood by a practical example. So let's just do that. Okay, so we're looking at a sales report now for the first quarter, listing all the sales that each salesperson has generated. Now, what we want to determine is the bonus column, whether or not each salesperson deserves one. Now, the rule is, is, that, uh, is that if they've made over $225,000, they get a 6% bonus. If not, no bonus whatsoever. Now, let's see how the if function comes into play here. What we're going to do is we're going to determine if Bobby deserves that 6% bonus or not. Now, <clears throat> I'm selecting cell F5, and in the Formulas tab in the ribbon, I'm going to click on the Insert Function button. And if the IF function is listed here, you can go ahead and select it and hit OK. Uh, if not, you can always do a search here by typing out IF and then clicking on Go. And it should appear at the top. Now, the IF function takes three arguments. Uh, let's attack the first one, the logical test. Now, I'm going to click on this icon here, which will collapse the window down to that one line. <clears throat> and the logical test is to check if Bobby's total in cell E5 is greater than 225,000. So, I'm going to type out E5 is greater than 225,000. I'm going to click on the end icon to expand the window. And now I just have to type in the value I would like the function to return if that logical test turns out to be true. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so if Bobby's total is greater than 225,000. I'd like the function to return the words 6% bonus. And if it turns out to be false, I'd like it to return the words no bonus. Now notice because these are alphanumeric strings, in other words, numbers and letters, I have to put double quotes around those arguments. If it was strictly numbers, I wouldn't have to do that. Now at this point I can click OK and the function should return a value. Notice it's returning 6% bonus which means that E5, in other words, Bobby's total is indeed greater than 225,000. And at this point I can use the fill handle to apply the IF function to the rest of the cells. And there we have it. Now that you've used the IF function to test if a condition is true or false, uh, consider the possible values the IF function can return. You can have it return the results of a calculation, uh, numbers, text, even blank cells. Now, if you wanted to return a blank cell, just enter the true or false argument um, as quotation marks with nothing in between them. Give that a try.